Good afternoon. My name is Tatiana. I am docent at the Department of Computer Science State Higher Educational Institution, Prize of State Technical University, Dnipro Mariupol, in Ukraine. I am very glad to take a part in conference. Together with my colleague, we offer a report on the topic Virtual Laboratories for Study Technologies of Environmental Protection. A society that actively shares knowledge in the fields of science, technology, engineering and mathematics, ESTM, has more effective means of solving modern problems in various fields of activity. Therefore, ESTM education is a very important pedagogical direction. When students jointly apply scientific and mathematical principles for solving practical problems and developing technological solutions, then this is their stimulates interest in learning. To effectively use ESTM education, appropriate educational and methodical support and modern techniques aids are necessary. One of the teaching tools for ESTM education is virtual laboratory work. Virtual labs allow you to perform experiments anywhere at any time, eliminate many risks associated with working with hazardous substances or complex equipment, repeat virtual experiments many times, adjust parameters and see the instant results, demonstrate complex processes that are difficult to actually reproduce, allow you to reduce cost of equipment, consumables and energy. Factors confirming the relevance of virtual laboratory work are discussed in detail in the article. Today, there is already experience in using virtual laboratory work for different levels of education. We analyze the publications of various authors, examples you see on the slide. We also studied the experience of using virtual laboratory work for universities by other authors. More details about this in the article. An analysis of the literature confirmed that virtual laboratories are still relevant today. This is especially true for distance learning. It's also very le relevant for the mixed form of education at Ukrainian universities during the war. Therefore, the authors also devoted their work to developing virtual labs for students at their university. This article describes the results of this work using the example of laboratory work for Speciality 183, Technologies of Environmental Protection. This article is devoted to the development of virtual laboratory work on the topic study of the parameters of the dispersed composition of dust. The purpose of the laboratory work is to familiarize students with the method of determining the main parameters of the dispersed composition of industrial dust to acquire practical skills for students in constructing histograms, differential and integral particle size distribution curves, and finding the average size and standard deviation of particle sizes. This work is intended for bachelors who study environmental protection technologies. As a rule, the composition of dust is polydispersed, uh, contains particles of various sizes. More dominant dust, those that contain particles of the same size or a narrow range of sizes of particles are practically not found. Thus, for polydispersed aerosols, it's necessary to have information on the distribution of mass or total number of particles by their size. The proportion of particles of individual sizes, the average particle size, etc. In general, the practical sizes of industrial aerosols, which is dust, are formed under the influence of many factors. The influence of each of which cannot be accurately taken into account. In such cases, the laws of probability theory and mathematical statics come into play, namely the particle size, its equivalent d or sedimentation, the c diameters, is considered as a random variable. 
then it's convenient to describe the dispersion properties of dust by the probability distribution function of the mass of aerosol particles over its size d. The main formulas of the methodology are shown on the slide. The calculation of these indicators is described in more detail in the article. Next, based on the parameters, one of five dust classification groups is established. For this process, a virtual laboratory was developed as a web-based application. The main purpose of the software is primarily to help visualize the necessary information. At the same time, the work should not be transferred entirely to the program without the participation of the student. And in the program, it's necessary to develop tools with which the student can do the work. In general, the following requirements were put forward for virtual laboratory work. Interaction is via browser, so the interface is web-based. Storing all parameters of laboratory work and the results of its implementation in a database. Ability to select parameters for different types of dust. Presentation of experimental results in the form of a graph. Functionality for creating a chart yourself using visual tools. Possibility to change process parameters. As a result, a functional and convenient tool has been created for studying the parameters of the dispersed composition of dust. To begin with, the student should select the type of dust in the question and obtain the fractional composition. Figure A shows the screen for this step. Next, a graph of the distribution of the total mass of dust particles by fractions in, is constructed. The student must perform further actions independently. They construct an integral distribution curve of the mass fraction of dust particles by fraction. You need to draw a line on the existing graph. Markers of other colors should be used to mark the points corresponding to dust mass fraction 15.9%, 50% and 49.1%. For these points, using the integral distribution curve, it's necessary to find the corresponding values of the diameters of dust particles. The student must also independently perform calculations and fill in the required fields with the results in the virtual laboratory window. The results of these processes are shown in figure two. All laboratory results are saved in a database. Thanks to this, the teacher can check the results of the work at any time. The student may render the lab with different data. Conclusions. The virtual lab has been developed to determine the parameters of the dispersed composition of dust. This virtual lab is an example of training bachelors in the specialty environmental protection technologies. This laboratory work can be used in studying the discipline ecology for other technical specialities. The virtual lab combines the use of different areas, laws of nature and their environment, information technology and software, mathematical methods. Virtual labs also provide flexibility in learning because students can conduct experiments at any time and from anywhere. Students can also repeat virtual experiments an unlimited number of times, allowing them to improve their skills and understanding of the material. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.